Divine Rivals for like five days now. I love it. All of my vlogs literally revolve around two days, Fridays and Saturdays, because those are my days off. So today is Friday. I have today off and I'm going to be finishing Divine Rivals. In that first clip, you guys saw me do an Instagram poll with a few different options for books that I was kind of in the mood to read and Divine Rivals was one of them that one you guys picked. I'm glad that you guys did because I really wanted to read it. And then Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I've never read an Abby Jimenez book, so I put that as an option. This one I knew was coming in the mail. I'm gonna try to get like halfway through this book today. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how much time I really have because I've, I've got a lot to do. Let me tell you my day. I'm filming another vlog so we're going to a few bookstores, that'll give you a hint. <laughs> we're going to get breakfast, maybe coffee. Then we're gonna come back. I have like two YouTube videos that I need to film. We're going to a movie tonight, Oppenheimer. And Brock really wants to see it, so we're going to see that. It's gonna be very two different vibes today, honestly. Like, I don't know, I don't know, but I, I need them. kind of what we're working with. I think I showed you guys this in the last vlog. It's looking a little bit better. I got the baskets. I did this little random shit over here. I don't know what that is. And then I want to get two little candlesticks for those. But I do think someone mentioned like obviously books. Like I think I want to do like a, just a row of like very flat, basic, boring books right there. Um, or like a stack up. I'm not sure yet, but and then right there, I don't know what to put. I was thinking like a few picture frames, but for now, this is what we got. And it's way better than having all those cords that we had out for a while. I'm 10 pages in. I was gonna, I was reading um, Divine Rivals for a second. And then I was like, wait, I haven't even started Yours Truly. So I'm 10 pages in. And I already like how I can tell it's gonna be dual POV. Because chapter 2 is in Jacob's POV is the second chapter which i love i love how that's like a new thing that most romances are doing they're like they're including both perspectives because that's very important you know so i already really like our main character i don't even know her name though brianna there you go okay read one more chapter then pick divine rivals back up i know i'm bouncing back and forth but divine rivals is more fantasy this is more contemporary like i can bounce back and forth without getting confused so Just, I'm not gonna lie, it's 2.30. I spent a lot of my time just editing a full video that will actually come out before this one. So it's the book haul video, but Brock and I, we got bagels. We went to two bookstores. I was very successful and you guys will see those in an upcoming video. My goal right now, before the movie tonight, is to get 80% of the way through. Let's get to 85, that's my goal. I'm gonna go downstairs right now and we're gonna binge read. I'm just waiting for my video to export. <laughs> so after that, quick thoughts, I guess, on this book. I had no, no expectations going into this book. I think it is the most beautiful writing like ever. I think a book based off of words and letters and writing and those kinds of books are kind of the best ones because they're so beautifully written. Like every single word means something. And I do think that I wanna get the physical copy of this one to reread it later so I can highlight and annotate like the, there's just so many good quotes and so many good like chunks and paragraphs in here that I just want to remember for the rest of my life. So I'm thoroughly enjoying it. The plot is a little slow, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm really liking the two main characters, but the plot is just a little, a little slow right now, but I am expecting the end to be a bang because I've heard that it just picks up. We saw Oppenheimer last night. I was, I was entertained. I told Brock, I did not like absolutely love it, but I thought the movie was super well done and very like entertaining. It kept your attention the whole time. It was a three hour movie, but it did not feel like that to me. It is 7.13. I've been watching Akatar theories because I'm getting ready for a big reread of that coming up. And I want to read for the rest of the morning. 
and we're gonna we're gonna get today going i do have some errands to run i am going to two bookstores again and i need to go grocery shopping so other than that though it's just a really chill day there's not much going on which i'm very thrilled about i'm gonna drink my coffee read my book cheers <laughs> I did want to say before I like got started, <laughs> before I got started <laughs> on reading, we just got all the dogs around, but I wanted to show you guys, this is nothing new, like people do this all the time, but I am going to set a timer for one hour because I feel very distracted recently and I just cannot focus on my reading. So I'm going to set a one hour timer so I can just binge read because I just need, I just need it. So that's what's going to happen. I'm guessing the say. It's been an hour and I've read, I'm on page 281. I feel like I'm reading this book way slower than I read other books. Like I've been really taking it in. And I don't know if it's like the way things are phrased or what, but I have been reading this book a lot slower. I'm on chapter 37 and there are 42 chapters. Almost done. I'm definitely gonna finish today. Just like in awe of how sweet this book is. Like I was not expecting this. I, I do think the plot has gotten a little lost. The past like four chapters have just been Iris and Roman, like kind of getting to like know, I don't wanna spoil anything, but the past four chapters have been very lovey-dovey and sweet and I've enjoyed it and I've loved it and I've loved the like quotes and all the cute little, little things they're saying to each other, but also they're in the middle of a war and I like kind of forgot that. Nothing really has happened and I still, there's still a lot of questions that have not been answered regarding this war. So I'm interested to find out more about that. And is this gonna be a duet? Like, is there a second book? Because the epilogue isn't, it looks like it's in someone else's POV, which leads me to think that there's gonna be a second book. And I haven't really done my Goodreads research on this book yet, like I usually do. Like, let me go on Goodreads and just see. Ruthless Vows, this one comes out in December. Wait, who's it with, is it? Oh, fuck. I just ruined something for myself. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> there is a second book coming out and don't read, don't read the synopsis of the second book if you haven't finished the first. That makes me really upset and annoyed. Okay. Dang it. Oh God, I hate spoiling stuff. Man, that's kind of a bummer. Okay. I just read a hundred pages of yours truly and why this happens to me very frequently where I read two books or like three books back to back to back and they all have very similar themes. Like in this book, the theme and like what they're doing, they're writing letters back and forth to each other. But that's what Divine Rivals is also about. And I'm like, D I didn't do that on purpose, but that's a really good pairing. You know? I don't know, isn't that a coincidence? I'm 105 pages in, loving it. Our main male character is very sweet, soft, and like has a lot of social anxiety. I really like him. I think he's really funny, and I do think Brianna and him have this like really cringy, nerdy, goofy humor that they both can bond over. I think I could get halfway tonight. I think that's my goal. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight because I still haven't finished Divine Rivals. Earlier today, I went to two bookstores and then Target to go grocery shopping and I still have to cook and there's stuff that I like still want to do tonight. So I'll probably get halfway through this, finish Divine Rivals, and then be done for the night. So it is currently 3.30 and I have 17 minutes left on a timer because I'm going to read for about 17 more minutes. <laughs> I want to be this comfy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> for a super quick update, I'm on page 305 of Divine Rivals. You guys, everything about this book just makes me go, it like makes me want to like tear up. Like it's so, so freaking sweet, but also like in the midst of a war. And it's just like my feelings are all over the place. I just finished the book. I gave it four stars. I feel like it was very, very good. The cutest, sweetest relationship like I've read in a really long time. Their love for each other just knew no bounds. But I had an issue, not really an issue. <laughs> 
that's that's the wrong way to phrase it if this was a contemporary romance spoiler alert really quick i'm going to talk about a spoiler if this was a contemporary romance and they had exchanged a few letters and then like the day that they found out who each other was they like decided to get married i don't know it just all happened very fast i very fast but not that that's a bad thing we are in a fantasy book so i'm like okay with it i'm allowing it but also like i want more of the plot in the second book the end didn't make me as upset as i thought it would but overall very satisfied with this book loved it very happy that instagram you guys chose it for me i am going to be reading yours truly all of tomorrow hopefully gonna finish it and i will give my final update on that i finished yours truly by abby jimenez last night i just put it on my rainbow shelf i feel like this one is just so red i had to put it as the first book on my rainbow shelf i adored this book but i didn't get five stars it got four stars brianna and jacob i connected so well with so i was very very happy with the characters and the plot and jacob was just this like cinnamon roll but also a very anxious cinnamon roll and he had a lot of things that he personally had to work through and same with brianna she had a lot of things to work through so their connection and their like build up was so good but this minute they actually started or like admitted to each other that they liked each other it seemed rushed like i didn't like that part but i will say they didn't get together until like the last 80 pages so i don't know if it's necessarily like rushed per se or if like i just didn't like the way they got together i the fake dating trope there's a little bit of forced proximity because they work together there's a little bit of like love letters written back and forth i did not know until last night that this was a second book in a series but it makes a lot of sense like because the best friend i'm guessing that's who the book the first book is about alexis and Daniel I think was his name. The reason it didn't get five stars was because Brianna, I actually really liked her humor, I liked her personality, I thought she was great, but her reasoning for not wanting to get with him really bothered me and I didn't really see like he was so, oh, there was one scene that broke my heart and I was so mad at Brianna because she never let him finish finished talking like she always was interrupting and was never letting him like finish what he was gonna say because one time he was asking her out on a date and she just flat out rejected him and he goes home and does not stop thinking about it because he's so embarrassed and I I think like someone who can empathize and feel for people when he was embarrassed it genuinely made my heart hurt like i don't like it when people get embarrassed or like when i'm embarrassed and that part like really bothered me throughout the whole book i was like why did she do that like she did not let him finish speaking you know and i was like your reasoning is so poor like you haven't talked to him about it it was a miscommunication trope for sure but it was more like lack of communication i loved it there were some things that i didn't love so i am excited to read the first book i've heard people like the first book more so instagram always does a really good job honestly like every single instagram vlog i end up doing where you guys choose based on like a poll I always love the books you guys pick so divine rivals and yours truly I truly loved. Thank you. And please comment down below if you have read these books or if you have any other recommendations for me. I will see you guys in the next video.